Dylan Rolo is fortunate to be working at a job he loves, working on big trucks. I like everything about it. As a kid growing up, I always liked uh, taking things apart. Maintaining these trucks is physically challenging for Dylan because he still doesn't have full use of his right arm and hand. But in the last year, he's seen a tremendous improvement. The paper wouldn't have even been able to stay in my hand. My hand would have had so much hypersensitivity in it that I wouldn't have been able to keep the paper in my hand or had enough grip. When Dylan started working on trucks, he had full use of both arms. But a motorcycle accident in 2013 changed his life. He suffered a brachial plexus injury. That's the network of nerves that sends signals from your spine to your shoulder, arms, and hand. After the accident, Dylan had little use of his right hand or arm. I didn't do anything. I sat at home, sat in the recliner here. He had strength to go down, but he could do nothing up. Absolutely nothing up. It, it literally hung there. Everything that I did, I had to have help with, which was challenging for me. You know, I didn't, you know, it was, I was 22 years old. You, know, you don't want your mom helping you shower when you're 22. I think the worst thing was to see the pain, the nerve pain. There was this a point where, you know, I'm like, there has to be a way, you know, there has to be a way to find something. Dylan's road back to his job started with a journey to UW Hospital in Madison, where he met Dr. Amgad Hanna, a surgeon at the Brachial Plexus Clinic. We are trying to go out and explain to people what brachial plexus injury is because some people don't refer patients at all and some people refer them too late. So if a patient is referred after three years from a brachial plexus injury, there is nothing much we can do to him. So most injuries we would like to see within the first three months. And if we had to operate, we want it to be within three to six months. It was his confidence that made us feel more relaxed about it. We walked in those doors and Dr. Hanna is just, all the doctors that I see have just been tremendous from day one. Dr. Hanna and his team took nerves from Dylan's neck, forearm, shoulder, as well as the intercostal nerve alongside his rib bone and transplanted them to his arm to replace the damaged nerves. When you take intercostal nerves, for example, these are breathing nerves. So initially, when people are trying to use those nerves to, to move their arm, sometimes they have to breathe in to get the arm to move because that's what those nerves do. You breathe in and your arm moves until the brain rewires and you don't need to breathe in for the arm to move. Come here. Since the nerve transfers, Dylan's life has changed dramatically. His brain is adapting to those nerves and with diligent physical therapy, he's doing things like zipping up a coat or cutting his fingernails. Simple things that many take for granted that were once out of his reach. You go from a dead arm to a hand that's moving, his arm is moving, and he's doing things that he wants to be doing. Just to watch and see how he grows and progresses, it's pretty amazing. With my arm coming back, I want to be able to get my life back together enough because when I have my arm back enough, I want to be able to show everybody that, you know, people that have things like this can do stuff that other people can do. When people ask me, what do you go down to Madison for? I say it's to see my family of doctors there. They're still my doctors, but they're my family.